Okay, we won the die roll. Play first again. Um, hmm. No red mana, I think, might likely makes this not keepable. The only, yeah, I think we gotta stay busier. I really would like to keep this. Can you imagine this hand if we had a red mana? Jeez. I think we got a mulligan, though. Because I think our deck can do so much better. Oof. This is rough, too. I don't know if I want to go to five, though. I might just have to keep the one lander with the... Ugh. That's tough. Five seems real bad, especially since we have cards that make us discard more. I think I'm going to actually have to keep and then just bottom a non-land and hope that the scry helps us enough, but we need a lot of help, unfortunately. It's tough. It's. I feel like our chances of winning from going to five with the deck that we're running just seems so much lower than possibly scrying into like a planes right here. Well, we're kind of like a white mana away from doing it. I mean, at least we can go Monument into, like, Elite. So, I mean, I can force the Exert on the Spearmaster now if I just play like a cat, but do I want to go damage prevention right now? I mean, I kind of do, but I think I'm actually just going to play the Monument. I mean, the thing is, if we draw land now, we get to get two tokens next turn, so I think we're just going to have to take a little bit of beats here. Top elite. Uh, so we can go captain plus cat. Oh wait, we can't. Can we? Hmm. Hmm. I can go cat plus fling. All right, we're gonna play cat and leave up fling, because I think we're just at this point we gotta we're gonna have to stabilize here. So it makes more sense to me get a couple bodies, and then probably just fling it at the spearmaster, and maybe they exert with elite too. I don't, I'm not actually not sure. We'll see. Probably not. I guess they'll probably just exert the spearmaster. Ooh, well, let's fling. Good opportunity. We'll throw the warrior at it. Well, that's cool. We get a two for one, which is nice. My opponent actually could have played around the fling, not that they should expect it, but they could have attacked with Takrop Elite. Um, and then while I would have had to have flung, um, I think we're actually going to take this because I could potentially strike back with the cat, which would be nice. Yeah, 
That's pretty cool. Okay. Ooh, land air is actually really good too. So yeah, now we can do some cool stuff. We can play lizard plus fan bear, or we can go elite plus fan bear. I guess elite plus fan bear might be a little bit better, huh? Better potential use of mana. All right, let's attack first, I guess, huh? We need that lifelink. Talk crop elite plus honored crop captain is pretty sweet too. So fan bearer could help us help us here. Okay. Okay, that's going to make things pretty difficult. Let's get in for six. Okay. Throne. It's not exactly what I need it to be here, but that's okay. So we'll swing for three. Gain the life back. Then we get a crop captain plus a throne. That's all right. Too bad our warriors don't tap. I've never been unhappy that my creatures have uh, vigilance before. It's kind of a weird feeling. Spider your grass. Alright. He gets us. So, this definitely seems like a winnable match. I mean, we kept a one-lander. We didn't see our second color very quickly. Bonus deck is pretty good. They're main decking Sting Shot, which I haven't seen in a while. I actually think it's fine. The, the sad thing is I well, no. I was going to say, the sad thing is they hit the only target in our deck, but that's not true. We have Glorybringer. So, at least it doesn't kill Glorybringer, so Glorybringer can still do some nasty stuff, right? Okay, that's cool. I always forget it's non-dragon creature in opponent controls. That's weird. All right. I guess the dragons are immune to fire, I'm guessing. I don't know. But we can win this, definitely. So, sideboard, Blazing Volley would take care of the Spearmaster. Would not take ter care of uh, Takropoli. Wouldn't take care of Gus Walker. It's probably not worth it, then. We'd probably just run it back. I forgot to run Evolving Wilds. That's kind of crazy, actually. I'll have to bring that in between rounds. Actually, can I do it now? I forgot which one I need more. I think it was white, right? No, it was red. Uh-oh. Alright, let's try this again. Mm, I don't like the five landers. 
I've I've learned them all those. I don't think that you win too often with the five landers. This is an unfortunate keep again. I think we're gonna have to do it again though. Once again, it's the dilemma of five landers are just not good enough to win. I don't think one lander or and five card keeps aren't good enough to win either. So we're at this tough spot where it's we basically have to draw hot to win this. Uh, so keep, we definitely want to land on top, but yeah, now the dilemma is we actually need white mana, not red. I think I still keep the mountain, though, because we could rip Blood Rage Brawler after that, and we're going to have to get five mana eventually for our, our big gun, so we'll try it. So I guess we'll ditch the cat since it comes back. No play. Hmm. It's interesting. Probably impeccable timing, I guess. Pretty hard to believe you would have four cards in hand with no plays. Okay. So we're going to lose our insider, which is pretty bad. And we're going to have to discard again, which is pretty bad. I think these are actually really difficult matches to lose. Just looking at our deck, I'm, I'm like... I think it's honestly it's difficult for us to lose. I mean, I feel like... Obviously, I feel like we're going to lose this one now, but I honestly think it's very difficult for our deck to lose. Um, I guess we'll ditch the... True Heart Twins were so far away from it. Yeah, I guess we'll walk.
Yeah, this really feels like it should have been an easy win, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Should have been an easy win. All right, we'll concede. I, I cannot recover from this. All right, we'll see you in the finals.